in the river there, you see there's around a carcass on your 12 o'clock. The way we're carrying on, they're going to no longer be around. <laughs> the main thread of my idea is always making sculptures or art projects in combination with idealistic visions. Black rhino and rhinos generally are under huge pressure. We really have to fight for them. If they don't have champions, they're doomed to disappear. I was a drawer and a painter, but I never had the balls to uh, actually go for it as a career. I always felt at home and in harmony in the, in the wilderness, but once I realized we were really destroying the planet, then I, I decided to become an artist because I thought that was the best medium to tell the story. These animals are close to the heart. I worked with them for quite a while, protecting them and working in conservation. So to see them being wiped out in such a short time, is uh, this is not an option. Because you never want to be asked by your, uh, your children or your grandchildren, so what were rhinos like or what were elephants like? And then, uh, so what, why didn't you do anything to, to help protect them? Als je met de overheid te maken hebt, je krijgt een nee in elk geval. En dan zeggen ze, nou oké, okay, het is een nee, sorry, maar weet je, gelukkig, je kan nog bezwaar maken. En we, hebben het, we hebben het aardig geprobeerd, weet je wel, maar nu is het wel tijd om uh, actie te ondernemen. Ja, misschien dat je niet iedereen dan in eerste instantie te vrienden houdt. Two and a half years. <laughs> and now they're here. There is a, a famous book, the Tao Te Ching from Lao Tzu. It's two and a half thousand years old. And already Lao Tzu was talking about protecting nature and working with nature instead of against it. So I thought it would be a good idea to have this chapter engraved in the bone uh, in ancient Chinese to tell the story. It will look some, something like this, but then gold, gold plated and uh, full of engravings. And then hopefully the, the skulls will travel around to the consumer countries and uh, tell the story there. If the buying stops, the killing stops too. Een aantal weken geleden is de laatste Northern White Rhino overleden. Nou, dat is natuurlijk een enorme wake-up call, zou het moeten zijn voor iedereen om te zeggen dit is waar het naartoe gaat. Ja, daarvoor wil ik me inzetten. Om het beeld erbij te gebruiken en te zien, dit is waar we het over hebben. En dan met zo'n enorme uitstraling merkten we gewoon hier in de dialogen die we hier gehad hebben, zowel met Nederlandse spelers als internationaal, wat een enorme impact dat heeft. If we can save the iconic species, then uh, we're capable of, of, of saving ourselves and the environment, I, I believe.